Hey, what's up everybody, it's Caleb. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to start investing using Acorns. Acorns is actually the first investing app that I was exposed to. It's what got me interested in investing. And honestly, I just think their perspective and the way they, they encourage you to build wealth is unique and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna be using the Acorns website. There's also the app, that's what I started with. And if you want to sign up, I'll leave a referral link in the description. We'll both get $5, which, you know, we could always use $5. So go ahead and sign up. And let's just talk a little bit about how Acorns works and what they have to offer and why you might want to invest with Acorns. Well, the first thing I like about Acorns is that their pricing is simple. And starting off, you can just do a dollar a month to start investing. I actually go with the personal one. So with this one, you can do stock investing, you can do retirement investing, and you can get a, a checking account. And I'm gonna talk all about that, but that's actually a really cool feature of Acorns that I'm exploring right now. So go ahead and sign up for either the light program or the personal program. You can also do the family program if you want. I don't really have any experience with that, but basically if you wanna split up your investments and start saving for your children, then you can try out the family pricing. So before you go spending all your money, let's just talk about why Acorns. I personally like Acorns because it's the easiest way to start investing. Basically, what happens is anytime you spend money, Acorns is going to round up the change and invest that amount. So if you spend $1.51, Acorns is going to invest 49 cents. Yeah, wow, 49 cents, it's a whole lot. Well, not really, but it's going to add up because anytime you spend money, there's going to be a roundup. And over time, it does add up, but you hardly even notice a difference in your bank account. So if you wanna get started with investing, but you don't feel like you have a ton of money laying around, I would encourage just to start doing the roundups with Acorns. So I signed up for Acorns a couple of years ago, and I tried it out, and I ended up cashing out my balance, but I've just been getting back into it. And just so you guys understand how this works, is just with my current investments, I, I would expect to have an account balance of 58,000 at the age of 65. That's just with roundups. And you can see on average, people invest $30 a month with Acorns. But the cool thing is, I don't have to wait till I'm 65. I can actually cash out on this balance if I want to retire early, which is one of my big goals that I wanna do. This is not like a 401k where all of your funds are trapped until you're 65. You can withdraw your funds at any time. So let's take a look at the homepage once you log in. And also, I just wanna talk about some issues with Acorns. So let's check out what that might look like if we just go to acorns.com. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. We have invest for your future, that, that's the roundups. So I have $165 in there just from roundups. And then later is my Roth IRA I set up with Acorns. We're gonna talk about that a little bit too. But you can see overall my balance isn't a whole lot of money, right? I don't have thousands of dollars in here. So when you're first starting out, yeah, you can pay like a dollar or you can get the $3 package, but just from the growth of your portfolio, you're probably not gonna get that money back unless you have enough money in your portfolio. So if you assumed a conservative return of 6%, 6% of $100 would be $6. So if you're paying a dollar a month, you need to be making like $12, which would be like $200 invested just to break even. If you're doing the $3 a month plan, then you're gonna need like $600 a month to break even. But there's no percentage fees, and just seeing that you're investing every single month, that's actually probably gonna encourage you to invest more. So I think you'll pass that pretty quickly. So let's take a look at the investing section. The biggest thing on here is your portfolio type and that's going to determine your percent return. Right now I have an aggressive portfolio, which basically is saying, hey, I'm willing to do higher risk stuff because I wanna get the most return. So if you look at this, all of these are stocks. If you were to switch this over to like the most conservative, we get a bunch of bonds. I'm not a huge fan of bonds. I think you should stick with stocks, especially because like I'm fairly young. Like I have time to go through the ups and downs of the market, so I'm not super worried about it. So that's why I chose an aggressive portfolio, but if you're not really sure, then why don't you just go with moderate or moderately aggressive? I would probably avoid 
conservative and like moderately conservative because you're not going to get really great returns on that. So let's just go back. I'm going to keep mine on aggressive. Now we got the roundups. That's just when you spend money, it'll do a little bit of a roundup. You can add a multiplier if you want. So if you're not investing fast enough, add a multiplier. But there's also the option to do recurring investments. So if you just want to invest like 30 bucks a month or whatever, then I would encourage you to do that with the recurring investments. So, you know, if you want to do 25 bucks, hey, do that. Just make sure if you're trying to do it every month, you don't forget and do every single day. That would be bad. So that's how you can do a recurring investment. And again, if you just want to know what you're investing in, just go to your portfolio and look at how it's split. So I'm in all these Vanguard ETFs. They're small cap. We got S&P 500. And you can look up each one of these and learn more about them if you want. So that is the roundups. Pretty simple. That's what I would recommend to get started with. But one of the cool things with Acorns is they released their ability to invest in retirement. So that would be like a, an IRA or a Roth IRA. And that's called Later. Later. Sorry, I said it weird. Anyways, when I first opened this, it said Later starts today. I was like, okay, it's going to start investing. <laughs> and then it kept saying Later starts today. And then I realized, oh, it's just a phrase. Like, instead of waiting, like, start today. Okay, so... Once I understood that, I realized it's just time for me to start investing. So with this one, I'm investing $125 a week. We got some pending transactions here. So that's just gonna keep growing. That's going to help me reach my maximum yearly contribution in a Roth IRA. So I think that's 6,000. So at some point I'm gonna hit that max and I will be happy. Now, I am investing in a Roth IRA, which I want because you can actually withdraw any of your contributions before retirement age without penalty. So this is just a fantastic investment vehicle. However, the problem is that when you sign up for later, it determines what is the best investment vehicle for you. So if you want to do a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA and it chooses something different, Mm, you have to actually contact support, at least right now, to get that switched. So whatever, that's kind of dumb, but whatever, you know, not a, nothing's perfect. All right, so you can see my portfolio for this, similar to my aggressive portfolio that I showed you earlier. We also have a REIT in there. I don't know if that was also in the aggressive portfolio. Yeah, it is. So there's a little bit of real estate investing as well. So the last thing I wanted to talk about here is the spend category. So this is actually a bank account. You get a debit card. It's actually a pretty nice debit card. It's like one of the metal ones, pretty thick. Anywho, this is automatically going to round up your transactions. Basically, you can transfer funds into this bank account from another bank account. You know, I I'm planning on possibly using this for part of my budget, you know, maybe for my groceries or gas or basically my variable expenses. I can transfer a consistent amount to this account and help keep track of it that way. So I signed up for this just to try it out, but I could see me using this just to help organize my finances a little bit. Now it is a bank account. So with that, you get some benefits. You can do ATM withdrawals anywhere for free. So there's no fees. I mean, I don't remember the last time I had to use an ATM, but you know, for you people that use ATMs, there you go. It says there's no like bounce fees or anything like that. So you can research into all of that, but it seems like a pretty good bank account and you're going to have a routing number and everything so you can get direct deposit and use it like any other bank account. Now, the only other thing I wanted to talk about is this earn found money. And this is like, you know, if you shop at certain places, you can get bonuses and this is going to invest in your account. And if you don't withdraw that, then that could add up to be a lot of money over time. You know, for example, you go and you order something from Grubhub or, you know, you order something from Postmates. Heck, it's just a little bit of money, but that stuff adds up when it's invested instead of just put in your bank account so you can go buy a candy bar. Additionally, you can add their extension to Chrome and that can help you apply some of these bonuses when you're shopping online. Now, in general, I'm not like a huge fan of this kind of stuff. It kind of gives me like points and survey vibes, like, you know, when you do surveys and get money and you can redeem coupons and stuff. But this is definitely going to help people invest more money. I just look through here and I'm like, I don't do any of this stuff. Oh, actually, I, I take that back. I literally just did a video on Fiverr. See, if I knew that, I could have saved, I could have invested $8 
And over time, that could have been, you know, a lot more. Trying to switch your phone? Go for Mint Mobile, $10 invested, boom. Like there's so much crap on here, it's crazy. You can see I signed up for the Wall Street Journal, boring, right, $10. I ended up canceling, I don't even think I read it, but I got $10. All right, so that's all I got for you guys on Acorns. What are your thoughts? Do you think this is like sketchy? Would you prefer to just go with, you know, Fidelity or some old school investing platform? Or do you like these more modern app style investing tools? Let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, what other kind of content would you guys like to see? I actually really like Acorns. I think this is going to be my go-to location for my Roth IRA, but I don't think all investing apps are good. I've been trying out a lot. Some I like, some I don't but I think Acorns is pretty solid. See you guys and be sure to subscribe. Definitely need those subs.